Good morning and welcome to the Daily Office. Thanks for joining me. This is Morning Prayer for Monday, September the 14th. Today we celebrate Holy Cross Day and the scripture for this service, Psalm 66 and John chapter 3 verse 11 to 17. Please join me in singing verse 4 of Psalm 95 to the tune of St. Columba. Now listen to God's voice today, and harden not your hearts, as in the desert long ago, when our forebears provoked God. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia, make a joyful noise to God, all you lands. Alleluia, Psalm 66. Please recite it with me. Alleluia, make a joyful noise to God, all you lands. Sing forth the honor of God's name. Make God's praise glorious. Say to God, how awesome are your deeds. Through the greatness of your power shall your enemies submit to you. All the earth shall worship you and shall sing to you. They shall sing to your name. Come and see the works of God. God is awesome towards the people of the earth. God turned the sea into dry land. They went through the flood on foot. There we rejoiced in our God. God's might rules forever. God's eyes behold the nations. Let not the rebellious exalt themselves. O oh, bless our God, you peoples, to make the voice of God's praise heard, which holds our souls in life and suffers not our feet to be moved. For you, O oh God, have proved us and you have tried us as silver is tried. You brought us into the net. You laid affliction upon our backs. You have caused enemies to ride over our heads. We went through fire and through water, but you brought us out into a wealthy place. I will go into your house with burnt offerings. I will pay to you my vows, which my lips have uttered and my mouth has spoken when I was in trouble. I will offer to you burnt sacrifices of fatlings with the incense of rams. I will offer bullocks with goats. Come here, all you that fear God, and I will declare what God has done for my life. I cried to you, God, with my mouth, and you were extolled by my tongue. If I have evil in my heart, you will not hear me. But truthfully, you have heard me. You have attended to the voice of my prayer. Blessed are you, which have not turned away my prayer, nor taken your mercy from me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Make a joyful noise to God, all you lands. Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John, chapter 3, beginning at verse 11. Very truly, I tell you, we speak of what we know and testify to what we have seen. Yet you do not receive our testimony. If I have told you about earthly things and you do not believe, how can you believe if I tell you about heavenly things? No one has ascended into heaven except the one who descended from heaven, the Son of Man. And just as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, so must the Son of Man be lifted up, for whoever believes in him may have eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, so that everyone who believes in him may not perish, but may have eternal life. Indeed, God did not send the Son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through him. Here ends the lesson.
And now let us pray for the church and the world. Please respond, hear us, tender God. For the mission of the church, that it may extend the peace and the love of Christ to all people, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For Don and Tom and Richard and Joe and Bill, and for all of our church leaders, and for all clergy and ministers, that they may be ever faithful servants of your word and sacraments, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For unity in the church, that our scandalous divisions may be healed, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For the poor, the hungry, and the thirsty, for the destitute and the unemployed, that we may share with them the riches of creation and free the world of poverty and famine, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For Barack and Joe and John, and for all the leaders of this nation, city, and state, and for the leaders of the nations of the world, that they may bring justice and peace in all the earth, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For the intentions of those who've asked our prayers, and for all of your intentions. We pray, hear us, tender God, together. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Hear our praises, O glorious God and soften our hearts, and lead us away from all evil, and heal us of our afflictions. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Alleluia, this is the day that God has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Alleluia. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.